I'm talking of something that you bring forth that is powerful enough, powerful enough to bring you something from heaven. Something that you bring, some words, some storm, some words, some argument that you present before God and then it is so strong that God using the mind the mouth i mean using human human words god will check his head and say you have won okun ko gabo iche ya chineke ni ro ne ro ka di ka madu pri ku chineke ge fu feni so fe chani siasa imeriwo listen to me ngamunti this is what we are in for this afternoon gabo in hai biara inweta ne hia and i said when i say this thing has the potency to change you. And in three weeks' time, you'll be looking around and you're saying, Can it be as simple as that? Hallelujah. And that is expected god in heaven and the angels expect that that should be your experience chineke nke eligwe na ndi muzie na atwanya na gi onwege ga nwaputa ihe ndia that you should say in the next three weeks in the next one month in the next one week could it be as simple as this animo tizu kana bizu ka to ni moto nwa na bia bia o ga eju ga nya gise about our hair so that I can pray. Precious Father Father in heaven, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. Thy word there are wonderful words. Filled with the Holy Spirit, having the particles of the Spirit of the Living God. And I come with your words. Hallelujah. Being your servant. Not by might, not by my choice. Apostle Paul said, The mandate I am uh, exhibiting with which I am walking was not given to me by man, it was given to me by Jesus. He knew that he was a persecutor, an injurious person, but on his way to Damascus to persecute the saints, he was arrested by the master. And then the master told him, that thing that you were walking against, you are not going to walk for it all, of, all your life. Mm. And then he said, since then I've been in this business. And uh, he said, it was not man that brought me into it. In the same blessed way, Lord Jesus, man did not bring me into it. If they say, it's Moses of the hour, it's not their, it's not their idea. If they say man of God is not their idea, it's not their ordination. I did not kneel down and they came and then ordained me, put vestments on me, put chasuble on me, and put a red cap. And then I became ordained. Blessed Redeemer, I don't wear any ecclesiastical garment, but I wear the spirit of the living God. Eternal Father, I want to pray to you. But this afternoon, as I go speaking these words, wonderful words of life, let the individuals get illuminated. Let them get informed. And let the information bring inspiration. And let the inspiration yield even actions, wonderful actions. And let those actions, eternal father, yield the dividends. And let them be happy. And let them be joyful. And let somebody look around in a short while, even today, and say, can it be as easy as this? Thank you very much, Lord. This is my prayer. And I know that you have answered my prayer. And I know that it's already happening. Lord, I thank you for everybody. I say everybody, whether they have been there 20, 30, 40 years, or they are coming today, or they have been there only one month. Lord in glory, this word is uh, designed for every one of us. And let every one of us benefit. Let the boy benefit. Let the people outside benefit. 
Let the people on the galleries benefit. Let the people in the classes benefit. And let the people that are not seeing my faith, but are hearing my words, let them be affected by the words. Let the words carry wings, develop wings, and enter their hearts. And enlarge their hearts, not enlarge their physical hearts, but enlarge their spiritual hearts. That they may be filled with faith. That they may be filled with knowledge. Lord, let the end of it be that there is jubilation. Because of what the people begin to experience. And let the experience begin this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for answer to prayers. In Jesus name. I have prayed. Amen. Your argument. What is your argument? What is your argument? And I'm going to. I've already explained what I mean by argument. I've given the. I've given the examples of what we mean and what we don't mean oh my lot no so the teacher in here oku apota na here on apota and uh, having now understood what an argument that i'm talking about is we want to go to the scriptures to see that it is a necessary implement that uh, you must endeavor to have in order to be able to readily get uh, what you want to get from the Lord. Ebo bo na ya wata la hi ro ka ne kuku ye ubu a putara ode mba na ga ga na okwo nso kai we ho ta na ezie obuna di hi anke bu ngori gejiri we ga kuru chineke we nwete hi anke na bagi. When you talk about getting something from the Lord there are people that are always inclined to uh, getting some physical things, some material things. Not knowing that there are very many things that we can get from the Lord that are not uh, even material or physical. For instance, let me talk to anybody that is here. You are coming to this assembly on account of the information that you had, either by radio or by television. And um, uh, you are a grown-up person, and then, but you know that you don't have a relationship with God. Uh, you may even be a religious person in the sense that you are, you can pray, but that God you are praying to, you don't really know Him. And he doesn't speak to you and you don't speak you speak to him but you don't know you are not sure that what you say reaches him sometimes you are confused as to whether there is really god you are sure that you don't have his spirit is is certain to you also that um, you you are in sin and uh, and uh, the guilt of your sins the guilt of your sins are hanging in your con uh, ha is hanging inside your conscience. Oh, do kura ganya ni wonye mehe na mami benke mehe ano kwa na konu chegi mulele na magi pe. And this is the condition you you are in and you came to this place. Kya bono de no ni mea we be bata. The things that I am going to say will 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 help you out and then make you a completely different person by the time you are walking out from this place. For those who uh, believe that uh, they are children of God, they have His Spirit. Now, sometimes when we say this kind of thing, their minds also run to physical things. Some of them, some of them, they have no evidence, no testimony of having been 
of having been sanctified and then baptized with the Holy Spirit. Some of them don't have evidence. In fact, one time they find faith, another time they find that there is no faith. Sometimes the whole thing about God is confusing. And that is because they do not have some argument that somebody will present and then clouds that are in the heart will be driven away by the Lord. They don't, they don't have argument that people bring to God and then faithlessness will be dealt with permanently by the Lord. They don't have argument that they will bring so that heaven can open so that they can receive whatsoever they desire to receive. I give you a glorious information. God is not more interested in the angels than in you. Let me say that again. God is not more delighted in the angels than in you. I inform you God is more delighted in the people that are uh, human beings uh, having a spirit wanting to follow Jesus than the angels. Listen to me. Listen to me. Get this right. I said God is more interested in you than the angels. Ask me why. The angels don't have any opposition. The angels don't have any difficulty. They don't have any sickness. They do not have things that are standing in their way. There are no demons that are standing in their way. But there are demons that are standing in our way. The angels are not incapacitated. They they don't carry our kind of bodies. They carry celestial bodies. But we carry terrestrial bodies. And our bodies are a hindrance. Are you hearing me? If an angel comes in here, he's not going to feel the inconvenience that you are feeling here. Because he doesn't carry the body that you are carrying. He doesn't need a fan. So that he can find his, uh, his uh, celestial body. He doesn't need an AC air conditioner. God is interested in human beings that are facing a lot of opposition and in the midst of that opposition, those oppositions, they want to serve God. That is the reason the apostle all argued and said when we reach there, with anybody that uh, um, struggles and gets to heaven, he said, we will judge the angels, meaning we will rule them. Now come back to my question. What is the argument that you are going to come with before the Lord so that the the door will open. Because the You must today understand it and decide that you are going to have some argument. In Isaiah chapter 41. No, Isaiah, 
Let's go and read. Taigoya. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah, Iriano no two. We're going to read from verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near. Then let them speak. Let them speak. Let them come near together to judgment. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his food, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them and passed safely. Even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who had wrought and done it. Calling the generations from the beginning. I the Lord. The first and with the last I am he. The eyes saw it. And feared the ends of the earth were afraid. Drew near and came. They helped everyone his neighbor. And everyone said to his brother. Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smote it with the mama, and him that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the slow drink. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee, from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help ye thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were increased in sense against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not I will help thee. Fear not thou warm Jacob. And ye men of Israel I will help thee said the Lord. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as sharp. Thou shalt find them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the wild wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none. And their tongue fell it for test. I the Lord will hear them. I the God of Israel will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wheat and as a pool of water. And I dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shita tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert, the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this, and the Holy One of Israel had created it. Now produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things. Watch the be, that we may consider them and know the letter end of them or declare things for to come. Now, in the beginning of this uh, whole uh, write-up of the, of the prophet, now he in verse uh, uh, 1 said, Keep silence before me, all islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near and let them speak. Let them come near together to judgment. Now, Mali, now, Mali, thank you. I'm going to go to the 
piano weta oku ipo no weta oku ero ka uno now listen to me nganti before he began to make his own argument as to his power as to his strength how he raised the person from the east and gave him power now he said you come let's let's talk together bring your argument bring your strong reason tutu yonwe a ku oku nke ero ka nke ya igosi ke ya na yonwe a preme yonwe a se no boro madu a ste no wanya wo we sin ha bia no weto ku ero ko no weta no ku ipo and after he had enumerated many things that he is able to do and he has done then he encouraged them listen to me encourage them to bring your argument be bring your argument argument that we will he we see and consider and let his power flow out bogara ni we mecha wo ka ha mara ye di chiche nke yo nwe ya prime steni ke ya ogwa ha ka we to ku ipa we to ru ka ha ka geji we mere ha ha na cho verse 21 produce your cause say the lord bring forth your strong reasons said the king of jacob na mo ku nke me asu nu ru ku ipu nu bi aru enso ka jova na se buten ni lo to me it is not sufficient that somebody should know that god is powerful it is it is it is good but it's not sufficient o de ma e ma na chineke di ke ma no zu oke na ni ma na ya no mo to it is not sufficient that somebody should know that god is awesome the devils know do you have any argument to activate the awesomeness of God? Listen to me. When you come to the house of the Lord, don't bother about another person. Don't be a do-gooder. The person you have, you have the kings of Israel are a kings of uh, merciful kings. Abolo me ma onye zenke obi ebere and as you are doing that you miss something for yourself but you have a need in your life dikin na me hodo to a you we we ya dikin pa efuna hage because you want to save another person ni nature kids of tronyo ozo and you miss what is necessary for you in ya dikin pa efuna hage The person came to the house of the Lord. If he came to sleep, good luck. Onya abi anu lo chine ko buru na ko beri hi ya dere ya. Get the something and save yourself. Weta ya ne ku go te ya ji nyere onwe ga ka zo You are commanded to save yourself. Enye ne gi wu izo poto onwe gi. Even the apostle told the Timothy, save yourself and there that listen to you first of all save yourself. Onye ozi anyere Timothy wo si buzo so puto onwe gi mandi na ngaje. Don't be a person that want to serve the people and you are not serve yourself. Abulo onye ga cho ke zo ta ndo zo ma zo ta be onwe gi. You want to enrich the people but you have not enriched yourself. E chore me ka ndo zo bogra ma in bebe ko onwe gi bogra anya. You want to create faith into the people but you have not created faith into yourself. Chore me ka ndi madu won oku kwe magu onwe gi in bebe ki won oku. You want the people to benefit but you have not benefited. E chore me ka hari turu magu won gi rite be uru. If you develop that kind of attitude you will ever remember barren. Opro ni nwa ode o ma do to ani megi ngbe ni le gabu onye na ni ami pa nkuru. The principle is man okporo bo nka physician heal yourself. Ogworia buzo gwo nwegi. If you serve at I am son of our Lord Jesus or any many to be honorable how do you say that you are my son when you don't do what I do? When I came into the church in 1975. I came to help myself. And if you were sleeping, go ahead and sleep. Your I have told you severally that if you were sitting by me in those days as I was listening to the word of God and you were sitting by me. Agola mi anyu gburu gburu na na ubochi ndi aha obru na idu na akuko mu dika nna ego kuchi. And because of restlessness of your heart. Ni ye nwe ezumike nko bigi. Because of looking up and down. Ni ile ari anya gburu gburu. You didn't know the verse of scriptures that the preacher 
had announced. And then you tap me. And say, brother. What what scripture did he call? I can only answer you once. I can answer you again. I didn't come to church to now tell you what the preacher said when the preacher is up there. I cannot answer you the question twice. Because it's a distraction to me. While I am trying to answer you the question, the preacher will make a statement that needs to fly into my heart and do me good and I will miss it. Why should I answer you the question? Are you deaf? I can only answer you the question if you give me a sign showing that you are deaf. You don't hear anything at all. But if it is that you are a carefree person, somebody that comes to this kind of place and then you don't listen and then you want to use me to demolish my own benefit because of your carefree attitude. You cannot draw me into that. God is not going to hold me responsible for your So don't disturb anybody. A person that is staying outside and then as I was coming, you know, they want to touch my uh, dress. Want to, and we're making a, a lot of uh, excitement. Now the word that will save you and give you the thing that, is there, that you need is going on. But is he paying attention outside to understand? Listen. Or are you waiting, doing another thing? Doing another thing. Snobbing the word. When I, begin, when I begin to drive out now. You want to put your head in the vehicle. Does the vehicle have uh, magic? What yields you the dividend is what I am saying. That God is saying, bring your argument, strong argument. And I will show us this afternoon. People have brought strong argument. And God could not do otherwise than do what they said. Let me, let me tell you something. If somebody, if somebody that is, um, that is looking for, for real money, real money, but not as a matter of covetousness, but he wants to, he wants to have money so that the money in his hand will answer the problems of many people. That and then he knows that it is stated in the scripture that money answers all things. But he wants his money to answer the problems that is to solve the problems of many people in church and many people around him. And the, and the person doesn't have that enough money. The thing that he is doing is not yielding that, 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 that amount of money. And then the person came in here and said, okay, you can see that uh, this place is thinking in his mind. This place, if we seal it and put split units of AC all around, 
hang them all around. And then hang them under there. And then uh, close the windows. And plaster this place. That this place is going to have some coolness. And then he began he begins to think about it. And then and then when to begin to calculate, seek to calculate what will it cost? And then he discovers that the thing will cost two million. He said, Wow. I say, Oh. But I have uh, all my business. I don't have uh, I have a little above two million. You know, put everything that I have together in the business. A little above two million. And then he says to himself, Now I want to play a madman. I am going to be mad. I am going to be stupid. And then he came and said, I'm going to do that. Let nobody help me. And he came and did that. And returned to God after doing that. And said, Lord, I gave coolness to all those people. And that is the reason they came and we are in good condition, environmental condition, and they all praise you very marvelously, and you enjoyed it. But it is my money that did it. I want more money. You owe me a multiplication of what I invested. Listen to me. Listen to me. God cannot say what are you talking. That person will be shocked at what God will do. He has brought an argument that cannot Again, say. What he said is truth. Can the devil say it's a lie? Can human beings say it's a lie? Can the angel say it's a lie? Now I want to tell you that is it. All behind you. Argument. I did this. Because of my love for you. Now do this. Do, so. do this because of your love for me let's now see people that had argument who understand and they kept and they kept to the injunctions of the Lord now let's see from 1 Samuel chapter 12. I got now called Samuel and Kembo is Siri Nabua. 1 Samuel chapter 12. Samuel and Kembo is Siri Nabua. I'm reading chapter 12 of 1 Samuel. I'm from verse 1. And Samuel said unto all Israel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice in all that ye said unto me, and have made a king over you. And now, behold, the king walketh before you, and I am old and gray-headed. And behold, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you, from my childhood unto this day. Behold, here I, I am, witness against me, before the Lord, and before his anointed, that is the king that has just been anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind my eyes therewith? And I will restore it to you. And they said, Thou hast not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither hast thou taken out of any man's hand. 
And he said unto them, The Lord is witness against you, and is anointed his witness this day, that he have not found aught in my hand. And they answered, He is witness. Now look up to me. This is argument between man and man. This is argument between pastor and congregation. The pastor, the man of God, came and said, the Congregation, whose ox have I taken? Whom have I envied? Whose wife have I looked at? Whose daughter have I looked at? What bad example do you find in me that you should not do what I tell you to do? That you should not follow the way that I am teaching you? And now the congregation said, Pastor, you are right. Pastor, you are right. Pastor, you are right. Because they, they saw that he has argument. And that is right. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If he asks that congregation to go and do anything, will they go and do it? They will move to do it. If they don't do it, his argument will condemn them. Because he put a strong argument and they themselves agree that what you have said is the truth. And so you are you must do this thing. The people will go and do it. Reasonable people will go and do it. People that don't want condemnation will go and do it. And this is argument between man and man in the house of the Lord. Now, if men and women could agree with a man that has strong argument and said what you are saying is right, we go and do it. Do you think that God will not agree? And they said, as you are listening what you should be thinking is this what argument am, am I going to begin to develop meanwhile I don't have an argument what argument should I be able to develop as I read through some scriptures you are, you are asking yourself what argument am I going to lay hold on that will open the door that will make the Lord not to say otherwise listen to me attentively as I preach to you I have a daily argument I have a daily argument Day by day argument before the Lord. You know my argument? I tell the Lord. When I came to the church. I didn't come to be a pastor. I didn't come to rule people. I didn't have intention to come and rule people. I don't have a domineering spirit. I didn't come to be known. I didn't say I want to be a bishop. I came to be a child of God. And I came learning how to be a child of God. And I became a child of God. And I became a child of God. And followed it. I never caused anybody offense. I never began to discuss with this brother or this sister against pastor. Or against that brother. Nobody that had a, a queer life could be my friend. And you know it. I was a quiet person. I didn't want to be known. I wasn't, I wasn't grabbing and saying, why didn't they make me worker? Why didn't they make me pastor? Why didn't they make me teacher? Why didn't they make me worker? Why didn't they make me to, to, to do moderation? I didn't do any of things. I was a man of peace in the church I never criticized anybody and therefore 
I don't want criticizers in this watchman. I show him ndi nkuto ni me nka nzukwa. And therefore, yabere. Anybody, onyobola that is looking for position. Can I show no do? Why didn't you make me district pastor? You know me am kambroni. I am qualified to be district pastor. E to rumu ibo. I am better than the woman of Asia. E to rumu ibo. I should be the woman coordinator. E kwese me wo. And the medito and the medito they gave it to somebody who came to ten years ago. I wey ni wey te bila na na firi kera. I have been there from the beginning when we were at Ngwa Road. Mama wa nore kemba na na Ngwa Road. That person is not my child. Onya habo enwa. It doesn't have my spot. Onweye. Onwe atotoya? Yes. It doesn't have my spot. Onwe atotoya? It's not my child. Obo enwa. The people that do like that are people that create problem in shop. Ndi na me hendi do ta bo ndi na ebuta nsogbu ni menzuko. And as I say all those things. Na di ke ona ekwe hendi ani. And then I tell the Lord. Ogwo enwa why? That is the reason you looked out. Obia me ji le da anya. And you gave me the ministry. We enye yi Josiah. Therefore, ya mere I am not going to die. I got him out. I must fulfill the ministry. I am a Rosary Josiah. No, no, no terminal disease can come into my life. Oh, then the Andrew will like a better name. If you, if you let me die, are you going to begin afresh and raise up somebody like that? This is my daily argument. Can I pay a rock and pay a bunch? And it's working. Oh, we're now up to time here. Are you hearing me? No, 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 no. What is your argument? Oh, let me go quick, Peggy. Somebody had had testified and said every now and again he will run to the church to sweep the church and run to the church and sweep the church. And that was he took delight in sweeping the church and keeping it clean. And then he said, Lord, as I sweep this church and keep it clean. You must sweep out every nonsense from my life and keep my life clean. And the thing worked. And the thing worked. And the thing worked. Argument. God said, bring your argument. It's strong enough so that I can grant you what you are requesting. All of you that are here, you came to church. Today. church. And then do you know that your name can be written in the book of life today, this oh, very afternoon? Oh no, Marana. Simple argument. Notwithstanding the life you have led. The rough life you have led. Not minding how deep you have gone into sin. And then you come to the Lord at the end of the day to the altar and say, Lord. I came here not to claim that I'm righteous. Did I tell you that I'm righteous? I am not. Jesus Christ said, Jesus said, I came not to seek the righteous. I came to seek the sinner. And here I come. What are you going to do? You must save me. That's the argument. Did you hear what I said? That is the argument. You must save me. I am qualified to be saved. I am qualified that my sins should be forgiven. It was because of my sins that Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary. And if you refuse to forgive my sins, you have allowed Jesus to die in and the Lord that will speak to you oh, yeah. and then as you are confessing your sin you will find your guilt being carried away from your heart is anybody understanding what I'm saying Let's see another some individuals that have argument. Can we rock a fordundi madu roro ni ma ukonso? 
Let's go to Isaiah. Kaiga na ukuonya ma Isaiah. Chapter 38 quickly. Isiria tona sato. I read from verse 1. Malita mokun kembo. In those days was Hezekiah sick. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept so. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy argument. That's the meaning. I have heard your prayer. means I have heard your argument. And that prayer okay. was an argument. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he hath spoken. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which is gone down in the sun dial of Ahaz, ten degrees backward. So the sun returned ten degrees, by which degrees it was gone down. The writing of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been, been sick and was recovered of his sickness. Now, here we have read Eba, I grew the account of a man that had an argument. And his argument was based on his righteous living. Which means right living is an argument. It's an instrument of argument. And he said, the prophet has said, get ready, get your house in order, check everything, set your house in order because you're going to die. And then the man turned to the wall and said, What? He knew that it was the Lord that that sent Isaiah the prophet to tell him that But he rejected it. He turned to the Lord and said, Why? I have served you with all my heart. And I have done that which is right in your sight. And he began to articulate the things that he had done. Men and brethren, when the Lord talked to Isaiah to go and talk to him, did the Lord say that what Hezekiah said was wrong? He agreed with Ezekiah and said, What you have said is true. And as a result of your argument, I give you 15 more years. Listen to me. If you begin today, and are you say you're a Christian, and you are make a man. And we you make a man we and live a clean life and speak good words and take care of your lifestyle. Your reaction and your actions, the thoughts of your heart, the thoughts of your heart, and then the thoughts of your heart are plain. You don't think evil. You don't read meanings into anything. You, you, are, you are simply a simple, a simple minded person. Listen to me. You can come to the Lord. And say Lord. I have borne an example. In your church. So heal me. Yeah, 
Lord, Abun, an instrument of right living. In your church. So heal me. Lord, Abun, an instrument of peace in your church. So bring peace into my life. Is anybody hearing me? The question is, what argument do you have? What argument do you have? Time has failed me. I will talk to you on two personalities. And I will close. One personality is the, Can the Canaanitish woman was not born again. But he had great regard for Jesus. Mana, oh mana Jesus, we na so He Jesus knew so that God. this was the Son of God. Oh mana na Jesus, abro para che. It was very clear in her conscience. Oh dro ya nya ni ma konu che ya. And then he had a problem. Oh we we subu a problem at home. No lo ya yo we mpa. And then he came to Jesus. Where did you to Jesus? And Jesus said, Jesus said, where is he? He said, Master. I say, Oh, yeah, come do me this favor. Be commanded me, your man. And the Lord didn't answer a word. Oh, yeah, why? I say, I have a no word. He didn't answer her a word. Oh, why? You have a lot, sir. I know. If you talk to somebody, I'll bring it back with them, mad. And the person sort of neglected you. Oh, yeah, do it. I wear let that guy. He behaved as if you are not a human being. Where make it, I can say, boy, mad. You are likely to be offended. Many people here will say, what kind of thing is this? Which kind of man of God is this? Come on, I too can be a man of God. But the woman humbled herself. And then, when the disciples saw that Jesus did not say anything, they became empowered. Eh, they became motivated. And then told Jesus, Jesus, send this woman away. He's troubling us. And the woman comes and says, Lord, help me. And, they, and Jesus fired another salvo. Jesus said, And said, I am not sent unto any other people and uh, you don't take the things that belong to the children and now give it to dogs. Jesus has visited me and by that he's saying meanwhile I am preaching to the Jews and you are a Canaanitish woman. The time to make what I am delivering Public and for all is yet to come. And so meanwhile, meanwhile, I am serving that thing unto the children of Abraham. Abraham, And then it is not for dogs. It is not for those outside. Meanwhile, meanwhile, and then the woman said, "It's true." I agree. But let me tell you something.